Hey guys! Today I'm going to be doing a monthly wrap up, which is something I'm going to be doing from now on. I know that I have done it in a weekly wrap up form where I would do like the wrap up and plus like a Friday read and then a haul in all in one. And when I did the wrap up, I usually would do like a real, like a review on the books that I did because usually I only read like two books a week. And I just didn't think that it was like appropriate to do that anymore because it just got to be too long. So from now on, at the end of the month, the last day of the month, I will be doing a wrap up where I will share with you all the books that I have read in that month and just the rating, maybe a little bit of a just of a synopsis and all that. But otherwise, I won't do a review there. And also from I will also be doing wrap ups on films, so you'll be seeing the films that I have watched in the past month and all that. So tomorrow you'll be seeing a haul, and so on the first day of each month I'll be doing a haul from for all the books that I've gotten in the past month. And then I will also be sharing in the haul the four books that I will be reviewing for you guys through the throughout that next month. So let's just get on with today's wrap up. Um, when I am talking about the rating, I will do a thumbs, straight thumbs up for a 5, a kind of crooked thumbs up for a 4, all the way to the side for a 3, a crooked down for a 2, and all the way down for a 1. So let's just get on with the wrap up for the film part of this one. And the film that I watched this month is The Dark Knight with Christian Bale, Mike Nicole Kane, Heath Ledger, Gary Oldman, Aaron Eckhart, Maggie Gyllenhaal, and Morgan Freeman. Okay, this film was so action-packed. Oh my gosh, I give it a five of thumbs up. Very much thumbs up. I just, it was so fast and action-packed. And Heath Ledger as the Joker. Come on. It was so amazing. I loved it. I do feel like maybe it was a little bit too much action packed like it needed a little bit of downtime but overall who cares it's a fantastic fantastic film and I haven't watched the third one yet I have it around here and hopefully I will have watched it I will be putting links below to my reviews I have um, written reviews for these films and I'll put the links to them below and the second film that I watched is Hope Springs with Meryl Streep and Tommy Lee Jones I gave it a crooked and I, I liked it. I thought it was, I was kind of slow and it did make me cringe in some scenes. But it was such a sweet film. Like, it was truly a sweet film. And I would just be very cautious in coming into this film because it's not a romantic comedy. It's just a very honest portrayal of what two couples do to try to get their their um, their um their marriage back together. And whatever form that it was having issued, you know, so. And Steve Carroll was in this film, and, yeah, I was kind of very wary of him being in this film because, you know, he's normally in comic, comedy films, and I thought it was going to be very comedy because of that. But he did really well. He was serious, and I could take him seriously, so that is really awesome. So, like I said, I give it to the kind of like a full last a film I watched is Dorian Gray. I rented this one through the Netflix, so yeah, I'm glad that I didn't buy it. Um, this film was so horrible. I gave it a. I just couldn't take this film. It was horrible. It destroyed the book by you know the book by Oscar Wilde. It just totally destroyed it. If you do not know what this bu this well, the book was about. It was about this guy named Dorian Gray who was young and innocent and very beautiful. The, a painter named ba Basil Howard was painting him and Basil Howard's sort of friend Lord Henry ha who has very awful philosophies I think um, says he wants to meet ba um, Dorian, and he starts spouting all of his crap onto him, and he thinks, you know, 
Dorian thinks, oh, you know, yeah, I agree. And then when the painting was done, he looks at the painting and he's like, I wish the painting would take on all, all my aging and I would stay young forever. And, yeah, it leads to a lot of things. I'll put my link to my review of the book and of the um, film, but it was so horrible. Like, oh my gosh, I just couldn't take it. So now on to the books. The first book is The Great Gatsby. I gave it a four and a half. Like, it goes between, I would say. Um, I really loved it. It was very beautiful. And it was very quick to read. But I wanted more of Gatsby. I just wanted more of him. I don't know. It was just like, at the end, I was just like, I didn't get to really know Gatsby as much as I wanted it. So I was kind of sad for, by that. And I also understood at the same time. So that's why I kind of in between a four and a five. Because although I understand that why the author chose to keep him in that mysterious shroud, I really wanted to know more of him. Like, to understand where he was coming from with how he chose to live his life. So, and this book was just so sad. <laughs> just really sad. And I'm so excited to watch the film. I can't wait till it comes out because Leonardo DiCaprio is in this film and I'm just ecstatic to see how he pulls off Gatsby. The next book is The Castaways and I gave this one a two. And here I did have a physical form for this uh, physical form book for this one, but I gave it away to the thrift store, so that one I absolutely hated. It was just too predictable. I felt like she went into too much backstory, and she tried to pull off a simple story into a mystery type thing, and it wasn't really all that mysterious. Like, you know, it wasn't even what it was. You know, a mystery isn't like that, and she just didn't know how to pull off a mystery at all. So. It gives it two because I did like the writing. Like, she did pretty good in her writing, so I, I appreciated that. This book is The Air Fair by Jasper Ford. I gave it a... Th nah. I, I liked it. I, I did like it. But I had issues with it. It just... It lacks in so many areas. But I'm definitely going to keep reading the series, and hopefully it will get better. Next one is The Virgin Suicide by Jeffrey Ugenites. And I gave it a five. Oh my goodness, that was such a fantastic, fantastic book. And he takes that as such a hard, sensitive topic, and he dulls with it so respectfully. So I give him huge kudos for being able to write a fictional book on such a sensitive topic in such a respectful way. The Uglies by... Scott Westerfield. It's the first of the Ugly series, and I gave it a one. The writing was childish. Tally was annoying. The story was just meh. The role building was okay. Whatever. It's, I just I could I couldn't stand it. Sorry to all who liked it, but I hated it. And again, all my all the reviews that I did for these ones will be down down below. Next one is The Fault in Our Stars. I first gave it a four and a half, but if I was really being honest, I would have given it like a three or a two because the writing is so good, which is why I gave it a four and a half initially because his writing is so amazing. Like, he just knows how to write so much, and I did see for the characters, but they were so unrealistic. Like, who talks, who at that age talks like that? It doesn't even matter, like, if you're a very intelligent person. I just don't imagine a 16-year-old, a normal 16-year-old, talking like that. And these are supposed to be normal 16-year-olds. So I'm sorry, but... Yeah, I kind of have to rem re remember what an average teenager sounds like, and they don't sound like that. Not even if they have cancer. I'm sorry, I just don't imagine that no kid is going to automatically sound very extra intelligent because they have cancer. So, 
I just didn't really appreciate how unrealistic they were. Also, the whole romance was right insta love kind of thing, and that I had issues with. But I would normally have issues with. But I didn't really have much of an issue with it. It's just that I didn't overall like the story of it. It just didn't really grab me in the heartstrings as much as I thought I was going to. But the writing was so fantastic. So the writing gets it gets like a five. But the story itself, everything else gets like a like a like that. So I don't know how I would rate this anymore. So I'm just like I'm gonna have to reread it and like give a more honest opinion. Because So the last book that I read this month, oh my goodness, is this, I actually, I didn't read the whole thing, but I read one of the poems and some, a lot of, like 30 of the sonnets, and I'm, it's going to be a continuous, a continuous thing for me to go through the sonnets as I, as I go throughout the next year and try to finish the poems because I read the first poem Venus and Adonis and I was just like seriously seriously I love you don't believe me no don't leave me I don't leave me alone I don't love you and then it's just like I got you you're not gonna leave me because I don't love you too much to let you go and let you get killed by those stupid warthogs or whatever they were oh boars boars and then he gets killed, and it's just like this. Well, <laughs> I was right, and I can't believe I let him go. And then the other one, it was just really horrible. I'm not even going to talk about it. Um, I couldn't finish it because I was just like, what? What? That's just so ridiculous. It's so off her fetch. But the sonnets are amazing. I love the sonnets so much. And, yeah, I will continue to read the sonnets, and the other poems that are behind the sonnets. So, that is all for me, look forward to the haul tomorrow. I won't be just doing book haul, a book haul, but a Christmas haul. So look forward to that. I hope you all liked my new way of doing this. And if you've read or watched any of these, um, tell me below. Again, all the links to the reviews I've done for all these will be in the down bar. So go check those out if you like, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.